Hey YouTube, Steven the Salon Guy here and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how to become a better hairstylist. Now there's a lot of things involved in that topic and I've been a hairstylist for over 20 years and I've pretty much seen it all. And in this video I want to share with you some things that I think can really help you out if you're a new hairstylist or if you've been around for say 20 plus years in the industry. The first thing I want to talk to you about and if you're watching this it's gonna be a tough one to handle, but a lot of you hairstylists out there complain about not getting business. Now, there's a few things that you have to take into consideration. A lot of times, the stylists will end up blaming the owner for not getting them business, and that's kind of a touchy subject. And then sometimes, you know, the owner will complain um, to the stylist that they're not doing anything. So, my opinion to you uh, as a fellow hairstylist is you need to do what's best for you and don't rely on anybody else. Now, if an owner is promising you that they're gonna get you all this business and give you all these walk-ins and they don't execute on what they say, then you know what, maybe it's time to start looking for a new place. But this is crucial. If you are working for someone who says they're gonna get you a lot of business, says they're gonna give you all the walk-ins and don't, well, this is where you can take advantage of that situation because you have the ability to market yourself in a variety of different ways. One being social media. We all know it, we all use it, but a lot of times people aren't really properly using it. You need to show fo uh, photos of your work. Promote out there what you really are good in, and don't just post photos, post videos of your work. Engage with people, let them see what you really can do, let them see your personality, because there's no personality in a great bob haircut or a great ombre hair color. Yeah, it shows that you do great work, but remember, as hairstylists, people come to us because they want to hear what our expertise and they want to have a great experience. So showing our personalities through video content can really make a connection with that client. The next thing I want to talk about is education. There literally is no better thing to do if you want to get better than educate yourself. Be the best at whatever it is you want to do. If you want to focus on just doing hair color and be a colorist, well guess what? Do the best ombres, do the best single process color application, do the best highlight techniques, do whatever you can to make yourself the best that you can be in that particular area of expertise. If you wanna be an expert hair cutter and only do cutting, then guess what? Go to as many cutting seminars as you can, watch as many videos as you can, do whatever you can and practice day in and day out to become the best at what you can do. No matter what it is, updos, uh, you know, braiding, any sort of, uh, you know, asset or skill that you can, that you have, or things that you can do that you have as resources, do them because being really, really talented does help in this industry. Remember, people are coming to us for our actual craft, what we do. So if we're, you know, talking a big game and we do horrible work, it's not really gonna help us as professionals. You wanna also give your client a great experience. The client experience when they sit down in this chair is crucial. You wanna be very polite, you wanna be professional, you wanna be well-mannered, you wanna communicate, you want to just do everything you possibly can to make sure that client comes into your world so that when they're in this chair, that they wanna come back time and time again. They love the work you do, they love your personality, and they just make a really great connection with you. So please practice. If you're not great at consultations, if you're not great at, you know, you don't feel comfortable or confident in speaking to someone, you know, guess what? Maybe this isn't the industry for you because this is a people person industry, but you wanna make sure that you give the client the best experience, practice in front of a mirror, practice consulting, you know, uh, practice on your coworkers, do whatever you can to actually go over and, and have someone sit in a chair and just communicate. Talk to them about what you think looks best on their hair. You know, do anything you can so that you showcase as being the expert. And lastly, use the right tools. Again, social media, all these things are out there, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all these social media tools are out there. And also, the biggest thing of all is having something at your fingertips that you can book appointments with, that you can you know, manage your actual book. Most salons are using you know, software. Uh, there's actually a lot that aren't. But you know, if you are watching this, and you are in need of something that can help you, I suggest Salon Iris. And yes, I've partnered up with Salon Iris to present these really uh, great business building videos for people in our industry. 
uh, if you go to the description below, there is a uh, number you can call. And if you mention that the salon guy sent you, you actually will get a discount on this software. And I really suggest utilizing tools that can help make, make you successful. Like being able to book appointments, you know, on the spot, being able to check your book to see what you have, being able to manage your business. Think of yourself as an entrepreneur. Think of yourself as running your own business when it comes to your book. Yes, you're doing it if you're working for someone, you're doing it under their business and for them. But guess what? The more successful that you are, you know, guess you, you can bring in more revenue and you can earn more. And when you have the right tools at your fingertips and you utilize them properly, it can really help you become more successful. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or you wanna leave any comments, please leave them down below. And I'll see you guys next time for more videos with a Salon Guy.